What's up, leaders? This is Sean Perry from Hartford, Connecticut, here at Hartford Comic Con. I'm here with John Cardinal and Adam Miller, and we're talking about Chroma. Guys, we tell me a little bit about this awesome magazine which spotlights artists in the New England area. So Chroma is really an anthology that encapsulates all different variety of artwork. We get everything from comic books, uh, fine art, we've got some performance artists, right, John? Can you speak to me a little bit about the comic books? That's what I'm into. Sure. Yeah, there's uh, several artists, right, that do uh, comic books that we featured in Chrome. Yeah, so Volume 1 featured Robert Gill, who's now working for Valiant, working on Books of Death. Book yeah, Book of Death. Yeah, yeah, if you guys don't know Robert Gill's work, you should know it. It's, it's sick. It's sick. You should. <laughs> Volume 2 features the work of Andrew McLean, which is John's headlocker about a week ago. Yeah, Andrew McLean, for, uh, he does stuff for Dark Horse, Image Comics, uh, Apocalyptic Girl, Headlopper, a bunch of self-published stuff. Uh, he's phenomenal. He's a he's the real deal. He's a real deal. leaders. You know that I do the indie spotlight. I love putting uh, you know my attention on people that are brave enough to not just you know have a story but tell it and you know not expect money to get it done and just do it. And that's what everyone should do. You know, Nike is, is right. It should be sponsoring comic books. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, I don't have the guts or the time or the talent that to do what they've done. So can you guys tell me a little bit about what it takes to you know step up? People that are reading this and, and talking about this want to make their own stories. They're probably a fan of this sort of idea, and they maybe maybe they have the talent and they just don't know. So what what was the uh, the block that you got over to make this happen? It started with me and my two friends, Mike Crock and Andrew, who decided that we should try to put out a book ourselves. So we put out the first triptych sketchbook to go to Comic Con with because we said, you know what? We're getting published here, we're getting published there, little things, little things, little things. Why are we not just, you know, taking it by the reins and doing our own thing? So that's what started Triptych, was the three of us put together a sketchbook. We were like, hey, that was a good time. You know what? You know what? It clicked, and we were like, the real thing we need to do is we just need to do it. Like, if you want to draw a comic book, you need to draw a comic book. No one's going to stop you from doing it. You know, getting published by Marvel and DC is one thing, but if you really just want to draw comic books, there isn't anything to stop you. Absolutely. You know? Exactly. You know, people always ask, they say, the most, one of the most common questions right, is how do you break into comics? And we've asked this question to ourselves and to people well up the food chain from us, which there are plenty well up the food chain from yeah. us. But so much of it is, to your point, is just make it. If you know someone comes to me and says, how do you break into comics? And your answer is, make a comic, and they can't do that, or they won't do that, or they won't take those steps necessary to put themselves out there just enough to understand that all you really need is photocopy paper, a couple staples, right? And and 20 bucks to put your zine out. Like, make something. Prove to people, and to yourself, that you can produce something just to see that it exists. And you can. there's nothing stopping anybody from doing that. Whether it's talent-based, financial-based, connection-based, if you want to do it, do it. In fact, with these guys, you know, Andrew Hull, uh, Michael Crockett, and John Carno, I went to school with these guys. And so these guys all this idea, we're going to put our friends and artists we believe in into one volume, right, to showcase that. But that was just an idea they had. And you know, they followed up, they put their know-how and skills together, they tapped a couple of their wacko friends like us, and now they're on volume two looking for volume three. Volume three and four. Trippy Press should drop volume three and four simultaneously in April. 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 So yeah. if you want to read full interviews with all the people in the books, you can go to tryptopress.com. You can also go to the book and more news events that we're doing. That's where you got Yeah, follow us, right? Follow us, follow us on Instagram. I'm uh, at Millerstrations. At Monsterville 2. At Monsterville 2 and at Millerstrations. All right. Art. Hopefully I'm going to get these texts. Yeah. Yeah, art, life, comics, you know. Do an interview, bro. So live. <laughs> I think we, we nailed it. Yeah, go ahead. Can you uh, cut that?